everyone. Bernie here. I figured I'd get this video up. Um, no metal detecting today. I am heading over to uh, this old abandoned golf course. I got the magnet with me. Now I'm gonna throw some, uh, throw the magnet a little bit. Let's see if I can find anything. Figured I didn't want to get out driving today, so I am just walking. But this is uh, this is my neighborhood. Nice and quiet. My house is on the other side of that house over there. And it's just a walk. You know, maybe a hundred yards. This used to be a, yeah, this is one of the first golf courses in Port St. Lucie. Uh, it closed about 19 years ago and the city took it over. And uh, how ironic is that? Look at that sign. No golfing. <laughs> People used to come here just to uh, hit some balls on the weekend into the woods and now they don't allow it anymore. This is supposed to become a park. But uh, it's taking a pretty damn long to get it done. I like I, uh, I commented on one of Juice's uh, videos when he was out magnet fishing the other day. I told him I would take him to alligator infested waters to hunt and this is one of them. Uh, come out here at nighttime, you can see red eyes in the water. If you shine a light out there. But uh, maybe I'll find some golf clubs or something. I don't know. I'm going to walk it down here to the edge and I'll give it a few, uh, give it a few throws. I'll do all of this area here. And on the other side of this hill here where those birds just flew off to, there's another lake over there. So, uh, could be interesting. I used to come out here with my kids when they were younger and we'd hunt for golf balls in the water. Yeah, there was a little alligator just took off. He was sunning himself on the bank. All right. Walk down this way a little bit. Water's low. Water's usually up to where I'm walking. I walk down this way for a little bit. See if any neighbors call the cops on me. This town I live in is the town of rules. No metal detecting, no nothing. They don't allow you to do anything here without a permit or without uh, a metal detecting is no permit or nothing. You don't, you just don't do it because they don't allow it. So, yeah, this is a pretty deep lake. As you can see, it's got this little area that goes down and it goes down again. A little bench over here where people come and sit and look at the water, I guess. Uh -huh. So let me stick my bucket here. Make sure there's no alligators standing around where I can get eaten. Don't want to get eaten. At least not by an alligator. <laughs> I'm going to tie the rope around my waist and make it hard for me to run away if I have to. I wind up trip, oh, tripping and falling and get eaten by an alligator. What a way to go. All right. Got the uh, Rogue 1400-pounder. And I'm going to give it a toss and see uh, what we can find. I'm going to screw my bucket in the water. Maybe there's nothing here. Maybe there's something here. I don't know. I can tell there's a lot of muck. I can feel myself pulling it in already.
probably like everything else I do. Nothing on the end. How about that? All right, let's uh, try it there. You'd think some old golfer might have got mad at the game and threw his uh, golf clubs in the water or something. Uh, it's all muck down there. I can tell because the magnet sinks right into it. Don't feel nothing. People fish here too, so maybe there's uh, some lures. Nope. Not a damn thing. I'm not too good at this. Ah, lotty dotty. I have to get out of the house. It's just uh, boring sitting around. I should have went detecting today, but didn't feel very good last night. I'm thinking I'm gonna to have to get the 360 magnet because this one here is, uh, you know, it's gotta land like this in order for you to find anything. And it's not landing like that. Once I pull it, it the magnet face faces up. So that's something I'm learning. So oh, maybe we got something there. No, nothing. Nope. This is definitely a workout, this, this stuff. I gotta get used to this. Nope, nothing there. There's a lot of mud. Let's try over here. This thing, I think this is going to be a, a wash here. There ain't nothing in here. You think it'd catch a lure or something? I don't know if I'm throwing too fast or or what? I don't want to get down by the edge because that's where those alligators hang out. They just wait for you to put your fat ass in the water, and then they come and they take your leg off. I have to go to a bridge. See that? It untied around my waist. I have to go to a bridge and drop it into the water off a bridge. It might be more sensible, I think. Nothing, nothing, nothing. You would think there was something here. Not even nails or nothing. I need to move to the hood. Need to move to the hood. Not even a bottle cap. Look at that. She's clean. Nothing. One more tourist and then I'm gonna to move to another spot. Come over here and Bestest. When it goes in there, it hits the mud and it goes right into the mud. There. Ain't nothing so far. Nothing, nothing. Holy cow. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, I got a lighter. Look at that. There we go. Got something for the trash bucket. Go figure. One lighter. Toss that in there. Maybe I'll give it another throw over here and see. If I found that, there's got to be something else down there. That was terrible. Huh. 
look at this. The rubber is already coming off. Hmm. It's not good. It's supposed to protect the stuff. Maybe I need to put some Gorilla Glue on there or something to keep that... To keep that sleeve of uh, protector on that rope. All right, here we go one more time. Let me get a good, good throw on this one. There we go. That's more like it. See nothing. Nothing, nothing. All right, let me wash this off. And I'm gonna move over to a different spot. I'll be back on in a minute. All right, I think my whole first segment didn't record, but we'll find out soon enough. I'm here at this uh, abandoned golf course. And I was around the bend over here. The only thing I found was a yellow Bic lighter. So I'm going to try this spot a little bit. See if anything comes of it. A lot of muck. A lot of muck, that's all I can say. Still keeping an eye out for alligators. Nothing on that that time. Let's go to toss this way. I think there's just too much muck. That, I can feel the magnet is buried in it. I guess that's where any metal would be in the muck anyway. Nothing here either. I'm already sweating. One more toss into a different spot. into a different spot. Oh, freaking hard to pull in. Must be weeds or something down there. Nothing. Still got I say nothing. All right, at least I know I'm recording right now, so I'll give you the rundown again. It's an old golf course from 1956. They opened this. It was called the, uh, oh, what the hell was it called? I can't remember now. Um, the Wilderness. Across from this golf course, there's another one called the Saints, and then the Sinners course. That's where, the, where Club Med is. And they closed this course down about 19 years ago. I used to golf here with my father-in-law. It was a nine-hole golf course, public, that you played twice to make 18 holes. It's a pretty interesting. Now it's owned by the city, and it's a vacant park, is what they call it. I guess they can't build on this land because of the, the, t 
toxic spraying they did with the uh, with the golf course back in the day. Because all these courses had a lot of runoff. And I guess poisoned the ground and the water. Maybe that's why they don't build here. So let me give this a shot here. See if we hook on to anything. If not, I'm going to head back to the house. It's too hot for this. I'm sweating like a pig. Uh, yeah, that magnet just sinks right in the sand. I guess there's probably not a lot here. That yeah, comes up clean. Not even nails or bottle caps. Give it another, another toss. There. This is more work than metal detecting, that's for sure. You would think there's something in here. Guess not. I think I may jump in the car and go to a bridge. This way I have a little bit of content to play with. Wash my magnet off. It's nasty. There we go. That's what I'm gonna do. Huh. I had a lighter in there that I found. I must have threw it in the water with the Yeah, it must have uh, must have been stuck on the magnet and came off. Alright. And now the trek back to the house. Maybe I'll go find a bridge somewhere where I can dunk the magnet off the edge. Maybe find something. Nothing like going magnet fishing. <coughs> Excuse me. And finding nothing. The excitement is unbearable. <laughs> so I'm going to walk back home and uh, jump in the car, take a little ride. Be back soon. Well, there's something you don't see all the time or every day. Those are called turkey buzzards. And it looks like they're hanging out in the water, taking a little bath or something. Nasty little creatures they are. They eat all the dead roadkill on the roads. All right, off to the river. This is a nice little park. This is like a, uh, not an estuary, but like a sort of preserve. You get this walkway that goes all the way through here and down to the river. I'm gonna go down here, see if anybody lost any lures or stuff. Looks like we got cameras all over the place now. They never used to have cameras. But I guess suspicious activity is recorded. I guess magnificent might be suspicious, suspicious activity. We'll see. Yeah, this is a nice area here. Nice and quiet. Until people come and mess with you, I guess. <coughs> to come crab in here. They used to have a, uh, a fish table down here, but I don't see it anymore. I'll go down to the end of the dock here and walk along, see if I find anything. I'll turn you around when I get ready to uh, drop it. We're on the first good find. 
Well, all is not lost. We got a half a sizz. Looks like a nail. That and a little bit of metal junk on the first pull. Let's try to get this stuff off of here. There you go. Forgot my gloves. Dang it. All right. I'll turn you back on in the next one. Well, I guess the key to this magnet fishing with this magnet is bobbing the magnet. I don't think this magnet is good for throwing because I can't latch onto anything when I throw it because it comes back upside down. So I'm going to have to get uh, like the Titan or something like that. Um, I've been just bobbing along the, the dock here. And I've got uh, a little bit of stuff. Let's see if we pull anything up this time. I'll show you what I did pick up. Oh, there's a lure for the bait. I did pick this piece of iron up. I threw it in the trash here. Um, I've got a lure with a hook. And uh, let me show you inside the bucket. I showed you the scissor, but I got a bunch of nails, a weight, a few hooks, um, bottle cap. So I'm just going to walk a little bit here and uh, bob along and see what uh, what else I find. I'll get back to you in a minute. <laughs> I hooked on somebody's crab trap. <laughs> no crabs in it though. That was fun untangling that. So I'm going to go down here to where the wood changes colors. And then I'm going to go back the other side and see if I hook onto anything there. I don't want to walk all the way down. It's just too hot. Let me uh, stop here. And pull it up and see if I've got anything. Nothing that time. I'm going to go on the other side and walk back the other way. Maybe we'll find something here. You can see how shallow this side is. But it's a nice little, uh, nice little pier to go across. I don't know if people magnet fish here or not. I think I'm hung up. No, I'm not. Let's try here and see if we get anything. You would think somebody loses something. Nothing. Go on the other side. I'll walk up the other side. Go, go between the next two poles. Let's see if I hook into something. The water stinks, I'll tell you that much. This beach throwing it, I'll tell you that. Throwing the magnet, man, that really, it's a real workout. I did get a couple of good hookups on the other side, but I just couldn't pull them out. I don't know what they were. Maybe bicycles or something, I don't know. Let me see what I get here at the pole. This is a big fishing spot. I think I'd be pulling in some nothing on this side. I think my better side is the other side. Let me go back this way and see if I can land something again on this side. I'm just trying to put together some footage.
if I get some footage here, I can get a video out this week. The current is moving fast. It's sort of like low tide right now. Let's see if I get anything on this side by the time I get over here. If not, I'll hit this little area over here and then I'm heading out. That should be at least enough footage for some type of video. Let's see if we got anything. Yes, we do have something. What do we got? Oh, big old washer. Look at that. Ugh. Big old washer. And a lot of little junk. This stuff is sharp. I'm losing my magnet. I have it tied around my waist and it keeps falling down. I got the thing tied wrong, I guess. walk this way drop it in and drag it here see if we hook something here oh that water stinks It'd be nice if they had a uh, place to wash up to my bucket. There used to be otters in here. Everybody used to come fishing here. They used to complain about the otters stealing their bait. They used to live off in the mangroves. All right. Let's see what we got. We ain't got nothing this time. I'm heading back to the house. I'll whip out a video. Nothing. A oh, little hook, tiny hook, and some scrap stuff. All right, let me do this a different way. I'm gonna wrap my rope up first, throw it in there, and then put the magnet on top of it so I don't suck all the stuff onto the magnet. this off wrap this part of the magnet back up okay and then put the magnet on top there we go alrighty I'm gonna walk out it wasn't too long of a hunt, but like I said, I still got to get up to the hood. That's where uh, that's where the goods are going to be. I don't want to be finding hooks and washers all the time. I'm going to find some good stuff. So maybe next weekend I'll get out there and do some hunting. So I'm going to uh, walk to the car, I'll do a wrap up at the house, and then I'll get this video up. So you guys can enjoy some uh, scenery and some magnet fishing where we don't find anything. <laughs> anyway, that's what old Florida used to look like before all the uh, development came in. Undisturbed land back in there. Very cool. Can't be out here at dusk. You get eaten alive by mosquitoes, big ones. All right, see you guys at the wrap up. All right, guys, I'm back at the house. 
just washed off my uh, my rope and uh, just store it in a bucket here so it dries. Uh, but here's here's today's finds. We got a uh, it's probably all garbage. So got a nail, another piece of a nail here. We got this fishing lure sinker. I never thought lead was magnetic, but I guess it is. Um, another fishing lure with a fishing connector on it. Half a bolt. Bottle cap. Big old washer. A lot of bits and pieces. Fishing hook. Another nail. And half a scissor. And that big, uh, that big piece of bar that I found on the, uh, the dock. Or that I threw in the garbage on the dock. So that's all we got for today. I hope you like it. Um, next weekend, I was supposed to get out metal detecting this weekend, but the people never made it to Florida, so uh, they're supposed to be here next weekend or the weekend after. So we'll be getting out there and doing some metal detecting and magnet fishing. So there you have it. Uh, I'm going to look into getting the Kratos 360 uh, so I can get a little bit more pull. I don't think this is strong enough. Go big or go home. That's what I think. <laughs> anyway, you guys have a great rest of your day. And see you on the next video.